Right, folks, um, next on the agenda, we've got a, a Spanish general, um, Perry Miniatures, and uh, Perry's have used the doll or the yeah, the armature for the um, Imperial Orderly, and they've turned him into a Spanish general. So I thought I'd have a go at uh, painting him up and show you guys how I do it. Just uh, notice I've got quite a few of these little tiny little pigtail things that are plaguing me. So I'm going to go through and clean all those off first. Wrap right around the feet and around the hooves. There's a, a long one here. Oh, there it is, yeah. Around the hooves. I'll get that off with a knife without cutting my fingers off. Um, I'll get that ready and cleaned up. So we've got the figure. I thought I cleaned up, but I didn't do an extra clean up. Uh, it's been white undercoated with uh, just a basic matte spray. Not very matte these days, I can't find a good matte one. Um, it's on 50mm by 3mm MDF base. Um, so I'll get it cleaned up, and the first thing I'm going to do is put my uh, my mushy brown paint on and then I should be putting the Maron brown ink on it uh, unless some new inks arrive uh, today I might use one of those but I think it'll be the Maron brown which is the darker brown so uh, there we go I'll get on with that and uh, come back to you when I've put the brown paint and the ink on okay Right, uh, that's my uh, yucky brown paint, which is just my basic. Where is it? There it is, uh, Valspar house paint. And we've got a nice washy brown over the horse and the figure. Now I'm going to uh, put the ink on the horse when the horse is dry, that then leaves the figure and the saddlecloth uh, with a brown undercoat, which uh, works well for a lot of colours. So there we go, that's that done. Just gotta leave that to dry, won't take too long. And then I'll come back and uh, put the ink on. Okay, back in a tick. Okay, um, that's the ink added in. There's not anything special, it's a bit wet, it's still drying off. Um, as you can see, it's a brune horse. Uh, the figure is brown undercoat, so the next job will be to uh, have a look at the picture and get stuck in on the uh, on the figure. The ink uh, doesn't take long to dry. Um, yeah, not long at all. It's already starting to dry up on the hindquarters, and uh, just under the reins, and that will be drying soon. So, next job is working out what to do on the figure. Okay, so. Back in a tick. Okay, yeah, here we are. Um, what I've done now is the, you can see he's got his little grey gloves on and the grey socks and the grey nose um, on the horse. <laughs> uh, I've added the blue shabrac and the blue coat. Uh, now I've put three shades of blue on that. It's looking very glossy at the moment, obviously it'd be matted down. Um, when it's all done, um, those are the uh, the two blues I use. You can see, yeah, uh, yeah, two blues. Uh, okay, so the next state is I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll probably do the grey trousers um, overalls with the studs down. Yeah, I think the grey trousers next, and. Uh, then I think we're on to the red or the gold, not too sure which, but uh, yeah. So we'll get on with the grey and then I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, so we've uh, got the grey on now. The grey, that's showing up, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd uh, use a London grey, then a neutral grey, and then. Uh, Ghost grey or whatever it is, yeah. So a very pale, pale grey um, on the uh, overall covers, on the covers. 
coveralls or whatever you want to call them. That's the stage we're at. Um, so I think, say next, I'm going to, I might do the black. I might have to go on the black. So I can do the uh, shabrack uh, boots and the bike horn. I might do that before I do the red. I then got to put a dark blue, I think the photo's showing, yeah. Dark blue uh, bib on the front and the uh, false the cuff flaps in a dark blue. So that'll be my, uh, that's where we are now, that'll be my next little trip. So, yeah. So black and dark blue or red, I'm not sure. Whatever takes my fancy. I may end up doing the face. <laughs> So, uh, what I did is, I went with the black. <clears throat> yeah, so I've done the black, the uh, boots and the uh, stirrup horse furniture in black. I've done the bike horn in black and I've put a bit of grey with that. Three lots of different shades of grey, just to shade the black so it's not too, uh, you know, just a wall of black. Is that showing up or not? Yep, that's uh, that's where we are for now. So, excuse me, as I've got red trim, I think I'm going to do the blue I want to do on the bib and the uh, cuff flap. Uh, yep, I think that's it. I think it's blue again. I should have done these before, but it's it's not a problem, is it really? So I think I'm going to do that blue, and then it's going to be the red. I think, yeah, it's going to be the red trim because there's lots of red trim. So, okay, I'll get on with that. Be back in a tick. Okay, so what we've done is we have, we have, I have painted on the red. Uh, so the red's on, plume, turnbacks, uh, pockets, and a nice little bit around the collar, which is a real pain to do. But yep, so that's a basic red. I've used a uh, flat red. So, and I'm now going to add uh, a dark vermilion as a, as a second shade on the red. Doesn't take long. Um, and then we'll go with that. So I'll do the red, and then we'll go with uh, what we're going to use. Not that one. Uh, let's have a look. A bright orange. Bright orange is what we'll use afterwards. So look at this. It should look uh, spiffing, as they say. Right, I'll get that done and come back in the tick. Okay, so there we go. That's the red added. Uh, so that's in three shades. We've got a darker red. The vermilion is a brighter red, and then an orange top coat, an orangey red. Uh, looks really nice here. Probably doesn't show up too well on the camera. I'm not sure, but yeah. So that's the stage we're at, and I think next um, I'll go for the gold. Get the gold on, and get the rope that holds the uh, sword on. Get those done. Okay. Right, um, metal work, red's done, metal work's done, that's the gold, bits and pieces of gold buttons and epaulets and all sorts all over, and the silver buttons on the overalls are done. And we've got the sword finished, so now we've got to, uh, what have we got to work out? Uh, what the sword's on, it looks like it's on a rope, a lanyard. But then there's a sort of the normal leather work here, so I'm not sure. Perhaps just paint it all as leather, so I've got to pick that out. Um, let's see, I've just done the horse bridle. So it's um, white then on the socks and the nose of the horse. Leave the gloves grey. Uh, the, <laughs> the gloves are grey. It's not easy to say. Um, probably put a wash on those. I should put a flesh wash on the red and the gold, but I think first I'll do the face. Uh, yep, so it's face and white, and then we're basically finished. Finito. 
Okay, I'll get on with that and come back in a tick. Right. We are getting there. We are getting there. Um, the white's done, silver's done, gold's done. The uh, piece of rope or whatever it is that holds the sword on is finished. Um, just put the white on the socks and the nose. Uh, yep, white well, actually done. The face is done. I've given him a five o'clock shadow, is it? Whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, on the face. I don't know if that, does that show up? I don't know if you can see that. Not sure if that shows, but anyway, you'll see. Yeah. Um, the red's all done. So I'm now going to add the flesh wash on the red and the gold, the face, blah, 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 that sort of thing. And I think we'll be finished then and uh, ready for a matte varnish. So, yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. I should double check, but uh, okay. I'll get that sorted and come back in a tick. Well, here we are, folks. It's uh, it's done. Uh, I don't know if it shows up, does it? Uh, perhaps can't see. I've just put a I've done the five o'clock shadow. He's had the flesh wash everywhere, which changes the colour of the uh, just turn that light off. Changes the colour of the um, gold and the colour of the red. So, uh, yep, and that's done, and I've just matte varnished down. So he is ready now for basing. Yeah, quite a simple figure, but it's uh, enjoyable enough to do. Wasn't too painful. A few tricky bits, but uh, nothing that one isn't able to uh, overcome. Okay, so I'll get uh, sand and glue on this and uh, some brown paint, dry brush and flock and some tops and he will be finished. Okay, I'll be back in a tick. Well, here he is, he's all done. Um, finished and based. Um, just move that away a bit. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the face. Try to put a bit, a bit of an expression on. He's got a bit of, bit of stubble on there. Yeah, I'll just put him down. There we go. So as you can see, that's how I've ended up with the basing style. I know it's Spain, but it needs to fit in with other figures, so I haven't done it as um, a sort of burnt and arid as it could have been. But uh, pleased with how it turned out. Um, not too bad at all, I don't think. So, there we go. That's uh, painting from start to finish. It didn't take too long. Uh, as you can imagine, it's not an overcomplicated figure, but hopefully it turned out uh, pretty good in the end. Okay, thanks a lot, and uh, bye for now.